A while back, around the mid of 2015, I altered the adjustments of this YouTube channel, which means that every video I upload from my desktop includes that comments have to be approved by me before they appear. And I found out later some comments I don't even receive a notification of them. Well, I don't know why that is, maybe it's censorship of YouTube, or maybe it's because someone reacted through Google+, I don't know. Now, why am I doing this? It is because I know very well that not all my viewers are trustworthy. Some come to this channel not because they want to learn, but just because they want to find fault, or they want something to argue. They're upset about something, and they feel triggered by me having the boldness to make these videos, so now they want to drag me in their negative. They want to drag me in their darkness. They want to drag me in their fight. So they come over here, make all kinds of BS comments, and they also affect other viewers by their BS comments. Because I know how human psychology works. When you go to a video and there are many comments, you tend to look at the comments first. So you can get an impression of what others thought about it. So that's what those trolls do. And not all those trolls are paid by the so-called so shadow government and all of that. I say so-called because the shadow government does has trolls, but many of them pretend to be of the Illuminati or some sick society. They're just people, random people out there who have a lot of anger in them and they want to take it out. And the internet is their outlet. They don't dare to go out in public and exercise physical violence. They don't have that courage yet. That's why they do their violence online. And they spread their filth in comment sections to distract other viewers. So what did I do? I made a move. Not only did I block those trolls, I have a whole list of trolls that I've blocked over here. I also made the adjustment that I need to approve the comments. I don't allow free discussions over here. Now look, on the videos that I upload with my, with my mobile phone, you can leave comments. But these are just remind videos, okay? So I don't mind it that much. The reason I don't allow free discussion is plain and simple. Those discussions won't lead you anywhere. You've been having free discussions in many churches for decades. Yet, people don't know that the Son of Perdition, Antichrist, is Apollo, as read in Revelation 9, verse 11. It's written so clearly, yet all those pastors and all those people in this congregation couldn't figure it out. That shows that behind those discussions, there's a spirit of confusion to keep people confused. And here's the thing, a lot of folks have their way of thinking, how they understand things, and they're holding on to their thinking. They're holding on to their investment in their thinking. So the only motive they have is to preserve their way of thinking at all costs. So when they, end, when they go to comment sections, they sometimes ask questions to trick you. I, I know all of that. Look, I'm not saying all people that comment are like that. Absolutely not. There are people who generally want help or they want to learn. And some of them even send emails and I answer them. I can't answer all emails because I receive a lot of emails. Many of them are from trolls or some are from dark figures that I really can't trust. But there are people indeed that really want to learn it, and I'm happy with that. But I don't do free discussions. And here's another thing. A lot of folks, and by the way, I'm not, a, I'm not talking about everyone there. You say a lot. A lot of folks just don't want to face anything in life. They don't. And I'm not just talking about YouTube. I'm talking about, in general, a lot of folks just don't want to face anything. Anytime pain or discomfort or some uncomfortable or inconvenient fact appears, they flee. And when they can't flee, they act out. They, then they flee through violence. For a lot of folks, violence is their outlet to escape discomfort. 
For some, violence becomes a first resort, where it's physical violence, or when that's not uh, in, in, in the favor, it's verbal violence or emotional violence through ignoring or the silent treatment. A lot of folks just don't want to face anything. And if you're such an individual, this channel is not for you. Because I address things as they are. And I explain things to you as they are. I don't do opinions and debates over here. And such folks, which I consider cowards that don't want to face anything, they, when you open up forums for people to discuss things, they will appear. And they will use such platforms to, to ventilate their frustrations and ventilate their violence. And I will not give people access to ventilate their violence on this channel. Even if it's just an online platform, it can still have an impact on people. It can still have an impact on my subscribers and I'm not going to allow that. There are YouTube channels that have been destroyed by people bombarding comment sections with their filth. That's not going to happen over here. Now look, I can emotionally shut out a lot of stuff. So when I see stupid comments, I can shut down. I know it's a stupid comment. I'm not going to let it get to me. But I know that many subscribers don't have that ability yet. So that's why in the interest of my subscribers, as well in the interest of this channel, I do not allow free discussions over here. I'm here to inform you, to teach you, and to edify you. If there is engagement between me and my subscribers, it is in for that purpose to edify them so they will grow, so they are delivered. I'm not here to engage with people's darkness. I'm not here to engage with people's arguments. I'm not here to engage with people's negativity. I'm not here to engage with their unexamined expectations. I'm not. I had people in the past, well, actually I would say trolls in the past, that began to spread false doctrine in the comment section. And there were subscribers getting along with it. And let, let me tell you one more thing here. Just because something is stated in a, comment, in, the, in a comment section of one of my videos, I have over 2,900 videos here, so I don't know all the comments, because as I mentioned before, I don't even receive a notice of all the comments I get, because some comments are made through Google+, and for some reason, Google+, and YouTube are not that well connected. So if you see something written in the comment section on one of my videos, that does not mean that I agree with it nor that I condone it. So don't assume just because we had sit in the comment section that I'm okay with it. But okay, now you know why I don't allow free comments and free discussions on this channel. It's to keep predators out. That's why I made this email, which I cite in the description box of every video I upload so that people can email me over there. Apart from the genuine emails of genuine people that really are, are reaching out or are really into learning and into being edified, there are many trolls and dark figures, as I mentioned before, sending emails. And I can recognize clearly that something's not right with this message. I do. Besides being spiritually alert, I'm also quite analytical. When something doesn't add up with a message I can send, I can notice it very quick. I look at the context to see whether the content matches the context. But okay. I want to teach you also here, with this message, to always look beyond. Look. There are people, for example, they have an Instagram account and they put it on private. The only few people can see their pictures. There are people with an Instagram account that make it public. Like artists, for example, people that are writing books like I do, or people that are DJs. Well, if you have a profession or you have an artistic outlet, then of course, when you make an Instagram account, for example, you make it public. 
so that people can see your work, so that you can reach people. But if you're just on Instagram, not because you have a product, nor, nor, not, not, nor because you have an artistic means that you want, want to reach people with, then I'm really asking why you're on Instagram to begin with. Well, some are there to get attention, some are there because they want to, I don't know, haunt people. So that people put their Instagrams on private, I can understand it. Okay? It's practical. But ask yourself, why are you on that platform if you don't have anything to share with the wider world? Is it to prove to yourself? Is it to maintain a close community? Look, I did not intend this video to talk about Instagram. I'm using Instagram as a parable here. If, for example, you're on Instagram and you have no artistic means that you want to reach people with, or you have no business, then ask yourself why you're there. And you can, I'm not against people putting their profiles on private. I'm just asking why are you on a platform if what you want is not in line with the purpose of the platform. Social media is a platform that you use to transfer a message or to reach something. Why do you have it if you don't have a vision that you want to accomplish? Look, I use social media only for practical reasons. I don't take it seriously, absolutely not. I never did. I never took social media seriously. It's just a tool, just like you have a knife or a fork or a spoon or a screwdriver. It's a tool, nothing but a tool. But for some people, it has become an extension of who they are. At least that's what they think. So they treat their social media accounts as if it's part of them. And that's idolatry that goes way too far. Then they want to protect themselves by adjusting their privacy settings. Adjusting privacy settings may keep others out of the pictures you post or whatever, but if you're still seeing social media as an extension of your internal being, you are in idolatry. Deleting social media won't fix it. We won't change that. Why? Because unless you are delivered from that adulterous way of thinking, you will replace one outlet for another. If you are in idolatry and social media is the I'm saying it's the expression for you for that idolatry. Even if you would delete all social media, sooner or later you will attach yourself to something else that will function as an outlet of that idolatry. And why am I mentioning this? It is because many people, I'm not saying all, absolutely not, but many people that don't want to face anything in life, they resort to social media to relieve themselves and they're looking for people to comply with their relief seeking. I'm not using social media for that. Absolutely not. It's a tool and you use a tool in an effective manner to accomplish great things. A screwdriver, you use it, well, to turn screws, to, to build something. You use a spoon to eat to bring stuff from the plate to your mouth. A knife, you use it to cut um, vegetables or meat when you're cooking. A tool, you use it what it's designed for. But people now venerate the tool because they become, become codependent on the tool. And that goes way too far. And because I know that a lot of folks don't have a healthy relationship to social media, I do not allow free discussions. I use this as a tool and I expect you to use this channel as a tool for your edification. Okay? Well, that's it for now. Keep agreeing with Christ. And remember, I'm not against people making comments. I'm not against people sending messages on the email. But I just want you to grow and be edified because that's the purpose of me doing all of this to invest in you not for my fame not to make a name for myself i have no interest in any of that i'm here for you 
only. Well, that's it for now. I create Christ and be at peace.